Previous the car sits abandoned in storm surge along North Fort Lauderdale Beach Boulevard as Hurricane Irma hits the southern part of the state September 10, 2017 in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. The powerful hurricane made landfall in the United States in the Florida Keys at 9.10 a.m. after raking across the north coast of Cuba. Photo by Chip Simotavilla, Getty Images, floodwaters from Tropical Storm Harvey surround homes in Port Arthur, Texas, on August 31, 2017. The storm, which later became a hurricane, dumped record rainfall throughout the Houston area. AP photo, Gerald Herbert, pedestrians walk past a flooded car on a street in Charleston, South Carolina, as Tropical Storm Irma hits the area on Sept. 11, 2017. AP photo, Mike Smith, sound for gallery will resume in seconds An American flag is torn as Hurricane Irma passes through Naples, Florida, on September 10, 2017. AP photo, David Goldman, rescue boats flood on a flooded street as people are evacuated from rising floodwaters brought on by Tropical Storm Harvey on August. 28, 2017, in Houston. The storm, which later became a hurricane, dumped record rainfall throughout the Houston area. AP photo, David J. Philip, Ricardo Arduengo, Agence France Press via Getty Images, files, this file photo taken on September 21, 2017 shows, damaged sailboats washed to shore are seen in the aftermath of Hurricane Maria in Fajardo, Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico's governor on December 18, 2017 ordered a review of all deaths in the U.S. territory since Hurricane Maria, responding to reports that the island's official toll from the devastating storm may vastly undercount the true number of fatalities, this is about more than numbers. These are lives, real people, leaving behind loved ones and families, Governor Ricardo Rosello said in a statement. AFP photo, Ricardo Arduengo Ricardo Arduengo, AFP, Getty Images neighbors walk under the rain past a washed out road in Alawalita on the outskirts of San Jose, Costa Rica, Thursday, October 5, 2017. Tropical Storm Nate formed off the coast of Nicaragua on Thursday and was being blamed for at least 17 deaths in Central America as it spun north toward a potential landfall on the U.S. Gulf Coast as a hurricane over the weekend. AP photo, Moises Castillo, neighbors walk under the rain past a washed out road in Alawalita on the outskirts of San Jose, Costa Rica, Thursday, October. 5, 2017 Tropical Storm Nate formed off the coast of Nicaragua on Thursday and was being blamed for at least 17 deaths in Central America as it spun north toward a potential landfall on the U.S. Gulf Coast as a hurricane over the weekend. AP photo, Moises Castillo, neighbors walk under the rain past a washed out road in Alawalita on the outskirts of San Jose, Costa Rica, Thursday, October 5, 2017. Tropical Storm Nate formed off the coast of Nicaragua on Thursday and was being blamed for at least 17 deaths in Central America as it spun north toward a potential landfall on the U.S. Gulf Coast as a hurricane over the weekend. AP photo, Moises Castillo, docks at Grove Harbor Marina get battered by winds and surf as high tide begins to roll in with strong winds as Hurricane Irma approaches, on Saturday, Sept. 9, 2017. Emily Mitchott, Miami Herald via AP, from left, Deborah Granha, Pedro Granha, Brian Garcia and his sister, Emily Garcia, take a stroll, Saturday, Sept. 9, 2017, in the South Beach area of Miami Beach, Florida, as Hurricane Irma approaches the state. AP photo, Alan Diaz, a car drives around a tree down by winds from Hurricane Irma, Saturday, September 9, 2017, in Golden Beach, Florida.
AP photo, Wilfred O'Lee, people push a stalled pickup to through a flooded street in Houston, after tropical storm Harvey dumped heavy rain Sunday, August 27, 2017. The remnants of Hurricane Harvey sent devastating floods pouring into Houston Sunday as rising water chased thousands of people to rooftops or higher ground. AP photo, Charlie Riedel, larger than usual waves crash ashore on Bolivar Peninsula, Friday, August 25, 2017, as Hurricane Harvey approaches Texas. Giuseppe Barranco, The Beaumont Enterprise via AP, Thomas B. Che, Agence France Press via Getty Image Sicar gets towed while men walk in the flooded waters of Telephone Road. in Houston, Houston, Texas on August 30, 2017. Monster Storm Harvey made landfall again Wednesday in Louisiana, evoking painful memories of Hurricane Katrina's deadly strike 12 years ago, as time was running out in Texas to find survivors in the raging floodwaters. AFP Photo, Thomas B. Shithomas B. AFP, Getty Image Streets are toppled in a parking lot at Roberto Clemente Coliseum in San Juan, Puerto Rico, on September 20, 2017, during the passage of the Hurricane Maria. Maria made landfall on Puerto Rico on Wednesday, pummeling the U.S. territory after already killing at least two people on its passage through the Caribbean. The U.S. National Hurricane Center warned of large and destructive waves as Maria came ashore near Yabacoa on the southeast coast. AFP Photo, Hector Retamalhectorretamal, AFP, Getty Images People walk by a fallen tree off the shore of St. Anne on the French Caribbean island of Guadeloupe, early Tuesday, Sept. 19, 2017, after the passing of Hurricane Maria. AP Photo, Dominique Chomarol Amat winds lash the coastal city of Fajardo as Hurricane Maria approaches Puerto Rico, on September 19, 2017. Maria headed towards the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico after battering the eastern Caribbean island of Dominica, with the U.S. National Hurricane Center warning of a potentially catastrophic impact. AFP Photo, Ricardo A-R-D-U-E-N-G-O-R-I-C-A-R-D-O-A-R-D-U-E-N-G-O, AFP, Getty Image Estes Satellite Image Obtained from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, Shows Hurricane Irma at 1930 UTC on September 5, 2017. Tourists in Key West are packing their bags on a mandatory evacuation order as Hurricane Irma, a potent Category 5 storm, churns toward the island chain off South Florida, officials said September 5, 2017. Visitors are expected to begin leaving at sunrise Wednesday, and an order for residents will soon follow, said a statement from Monroe County, which includes the popular resort island of Key West. AFP Photo, NOAA, RAMMB, Handout, Restricted to Editorial Use, Mandatory Credit, AFP Photo, NOAA, RAMMB, No Marketing, No Advertising Campaigns, Distributed as a Service to Clients. Handout, AFP, Getty Image, The car sits abandoned in storm surge along North Fort Lauderdale Beach Boulevard as Hurricane Irma hits the southern part of the state September 10, 2017 in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. The powerful hurricane made landfall in the United States in the Florida Keys at 9.10 a.m. after raking across the north coast of Cuba. Photo by Chip Simotavilla, Getty Images, floodwaters from Tropical Storm Harvey surround homes in Port Arthur, Texas, on August 31, 2017. The storm, which later became a hurricane, dumped record rainfall throughout the Houston area. AP Photo, Gerald Herbert, next show caption one of 19 floodwaters from Tropical Storm Harvey surround homes in Port Arthur, Texas, on August 31, 2017. The storm, which later became a hurricane, dumped record rainfall throughout the Houston area.
AP Photo, Gerald Herbert, Expand the Chris Mooney, Washington Post The Globe's hurricanes have seen a striking slowdown in their speed of movement across landscapes and seascapes over the past 65 years, a finding that suggests rising rainfall and storm surge risks, according to research reported this week. The study in the journal Nature, finds a 10% slowdown in storm speed between 1949 and 2016. It points directly to the example of Hurricane Harvey, whose catastrophic rains were enabled by the storms lingering in the Houston area for such a long period. Slower moving storms will rain more over a given area, will batter that area longer with their winds, and will pile up more water ahead of them as they approach shorelines, said Jim Cawson, a scientist with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration and the study's author. Every one of the hazards that we know tropical cyclones carry with them, all of them are just going to stick around longer, Cawson said. And so that's never a good thing. Start your day with the news you need from the Bay Area and beyond. Sign up for our new Morning Report weekday newsletter. The question of hurricane speed, and whether it would change under global warming, has drawn little attention in the past in comparison with more headline-grabbing questions, such as whether storms are getting stronger overall. But Cawson decided to investigate it, based on the expectation that climate change is already altering the general, large-scale circulation of the atmosphere, within which hurricanes are embedded and by which they are steered. Not quite like a cork in a stream, but similar, he said. In particular, a slowing of circulation as the polar regions warm up faster than equator ought to slow down storm tracks, as well. I went in with that hypothesis and looked at the data, and out popped the signal that was much bigger than anything I was expecting, Cawson said. And when it came to the storm's travel over land, the slowdown in some cases was even more pronounced than it was over the oceans or in general. In the Atlantic region, storms moved 20% slower over land, the study found. The overall magnitude of the change in storm speed, a 10-degree reduction, was also striking in light of other changes expected in hurricanes under the amount of global warming that we have seen. For instance, it is expected that hurricanes will rain about 7 to 10 percent more per degree Celsius, 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit, of warming, as the atmosphere retains more water vapor, Cawson explained. But here was a 10% slowdown in storm movement speed with only a half degree Celsius, 0.9 degrees Fahrenheit, of warming globally over the period he studied. These two trends ought to work in tandem to make today's storms much worse rainmakers. But Cawson thinks the slower speed of movement, which naturally adds more rainfall to any region the storm crosses, may actually be a bigger deal than the simple increase in rain overall. It is plausible to say that the local rainfall impacts, the impacts from slowing, are equal to and possibly greater than the impacts from increased water vapor in the atmosphere, he said. We've kind of hypothesized that this type of behavior may happen, this slowing down of the forward speed of the cyclones, said Colin Zerzitsky, a climate scientist at the National Center for Atmospheric Research who has reviewed at Cawson's study. This is the first, to my knowledge, study that's tried to look at the historical record to try to quantify whether that's the case. Zerzitsky did raise a few questions, though, although he says he isn't sure how much they would actually change the result. First, he noted that over the more than 60-year period of the study, there may be natural, decades-long cycles in the climate system that could affect the steering of storms and have little or nothing to do with global warming. So it isn't clear just how much of the change that Cawson found is actually attributable to human-induced climate change. Cawson would actually agree on that point. My study is pretty far from an attribution study, he said. I'm finding something that might be considered consistent with climate change but really, no idea what's contributing what to this signal. 
at least not yet. Zerzitsky's second point is that our means of studying hurricanes have also changed. Indeed, after around 1980, we could observe them by geostationary satellite. Before that, storms in the open ocean might have been missed completely and gone unrecorded, at least if they never encountered any vessel. That means that storms farther from land in the earlier part of the study may not have had their speeds included in the study. But Cawson, in his paper, writes that he wouldn't expect big changes in his results due to different means of measurement, since estimates of tropical cyclone position should be comparatively insensitive to such changes. Reading this on your phone? Stay up to date with our free mobile app. Get it from the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. Overall, while scientists will need to dissect and better understand the new findings, it's hard to mistake the implication that intense, torrential rainfall associated with hurricanes could be getting worse when they make landfall because the storms are, basically, dragging out the punishment that they deliver to the places where they strike. Inland flooding, freshwater flooding, is taking over as the key mortality risk now associated with these storms, Cawson said. There's been a sea change there in terms of what's dangerous. And, unfortunately, this signal would point to more freshwater flooding. You might also like jealous boyfriend kills, this member's girlfriend, then, straits times Kim Lim, daughter of tycoon Peter Lim, on being a hot. Premium content by Asia paints a bright picture for investors Allianz Global Investors the top 5 free most trusted antivirus. 2018 My Antivirus Review Apple WWDC 2018 Live Updates from the Keynote Hardware Zone Apple to Adopt Touch Sensitive, Solid State Buttons. Hardware Zone Warriors Durant tackled at Cleveland Hotel, what was? MercuryNews.com Carolyn Hacks, he won't marry me unless I'll take his. MercuryNews.com Melania Trump's nude photos, who leaked them? MercuryNews.com recommended by